Hi, and thanks for stopping by. I'd like to show you some accessories that are available for the DX4000 Coco Chi from Juki. The two accessories that I'll be looking at today are the laser guide and the magnifying glass. Both of these accessories use the mounting bracket, which I will show you how to install and adjust in this video. First thing we want to do is mount our bracket to the machine. There are two posts and a locking mechanism. You can see here there's a little lock symbol, unlock and locked. These two posts have corresponding indentations into the housing of the machine. There's no screwdrivers required at this point. You simply want to make sure you're in the unlocked position and that you align this into the two holes and gently push up until you feel it snap into position. Now if you need a little help, on the back side here, there's a little indentation to help you identify where that back post should lock into. See how easy that was to guide it in? Now I'm going to snap it in and lock it into position. That was pretty simple, wasn't it? Let's begin with the magnifier. The mounting bracket has a smooth screw and a hole in it that aligns to the little dimple and the slot in the mounting bracket of the magnifier. You simply match the two, slide it into position so it's secure, and using a screwdriver, tighten down the screw. You want to make sure you get the screw tight and secure. You probably can't do that with your fingers because the screw head is smooth. Now you can adjust the magnifier up or down simply by pulling on the pin on the side that is a spring-loaded mechanism. This releases the locking position and allows you to move the magnifier up or down. Adjustments on the magnifier make it much more useful than if it was simply mounted in one position. Not only does it adjust up and down, the magnifier panel itself can be moved to accommodate different sitting positions. Tilt it up, tilt it down, depending on the relationship you sit at the machine, this is how you can make it function best for you. You may also be able to use the magnifier for other purposes, needing to check out some stitches, or maybe you need to unsew a seam or something. You can flip the magnifier up so that you can have space underneath it and have room to work on something while having a better view of it through the magnifier. A magnifier can help you do that intricate and delicate work on any of your sewing projects. Now we're going to explore our laser. The first top screw is this one here and that allows us to adjust the up and down. That's the most flexible adjustment that we have for front to back or up and down movement of our laser light. This rear screw here is really just to connect the two pieces together. The actual attachment holding the laser and the mount that's attached to the machine. Now side to side adjustments are done over here with this little black screw here. This is permanently fixed and it will move the laser left or right. Our laser is now turned on and you see it's green. And it's a crosshair, it's not just a line or a dot. Well, the crosshair gives us the X formation so we can get our horizontal and our vertical alignment. But if you want to work on angles, you can always rotate this to make it form an X for you. So we can release the bracket and do a rotation on it should you need to make it look like an X. Now we can also increase or decrease the sharpness of our laser and that's simply by adjusting it and raising or lowering it in its position. I'm going to move it back to our little plus sign again. See I've got it fairly well aligned with my horizontal line here. You probably notice I don't have a foot on. That's because I'm not trying to align the laser to the foot. I want to align the laser to the opening where the needle is going to fall and eventually I want to align it to the needle itself. You can see here, the orientation for my horizontal line is straight through the opening where my needle is going to fall. But you see the vertical line, front to back line, is not aligned with my needle. Well, my needle is set to a quarter of an inch. And I would like to align my laser with my needle. And I'm going to use this top adjustment here to move the laser over. It's simply a matter of turning the screw until I feel that I'm in line with the needle and my laser light. I put my needle down. I should see that green line coming up the needle. And you can see in this particular image, 
that green line looks like it's coming right up the needle, which means I'm pretty well aligned and I'm pretty well happy with where my needle is falling. Thanks for visiting us today. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you'll get notified when we post new videos, especially new videos about the new Coco Chi, the DX4000 QVP by Juki.